I have been notified by Cub Fan that I have a certain box or something. He said he left something by the front of my base. Something about repaying me for something that he didn't need or something. Oh, is that it? Maybe that's it right there. Mysteri <laughs> mysterious little uh, snow piles next to it, but all right. Yeah, baby! That's amazing! Okay, that's a lot! Cobble slate! Fantastic! Thanks for the gold, Tango! I mean, that's... that's a lot! Cub, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So, uh... Just gonna stop anytime... anytime soon now, Cub. That would be great. Just... Hey, there we go! Excellent! Okay, I need... I need the cobble deep slate! I need all of it! And there's some redstone under there, too, but we're not worried about that. We even got a Tango's Terrific Trident in here. That's fantastic. Okay, let me put that in my Happy Fun Time chest. Put that with the rest of our tools. Look at the little icon he put on it too. I love it. Today we have much to do, not the least of which is to start talking about the beginning of Decked Out and the plans, what's already been done, what we're currently doing, and what's to come. We also have to go visit the new King's Quest area and do some do some quests out there because now we can earn diamonds even though we don't have a shop. And if we have time, I want to do more building out here. Scar's already given me a hard time. He's like, hey, you gonna do something about those floating towers there, Tango? And you know, I deserve it. I deserve it. We got, we got a lot of work to do. But the first thing I want to do today here at Red 3 in the nether is finally put the finishing touches i mean it's it's 80 percent done we got a little gap right there we're, we're 80 90 percent done with our nether tunnel and i really like it we got this detail on the side here with like kind of it, v's that alternate with a little design we tried to bring the style of our base of, of deep frost citadel out here with the same palette and everything but keep it you know get it its own little design we got the ice ceiling which i'm probably going to do a little bit more work on today obviously like that needs some detail detail and stuff here this nether portal that we were using is gone and now we have this nether portal again we got to finish some stuff up here today add a little bit more of the frosty bits and then i've got a nice little surprise i think that's going to be super fun for this corridor and we are done just like that did a little bit of work and finished it off and guys i gotta say i love this tunnel the side designs the ice ceiling the snow swept to the sides on the back end and then i absolutely love the ending right here i tried to i tried to like blend it in as best as i could i'm absolutely loving the cal that is calcite right yeah calcite is like dirty snow it works great i gotta use this outside of my base little uh diorite walls and stuff for just a little bit extra i love it and then I, I tried to make the, the ice like double layer up there so you couldn't see the nether behind it and added some packed ice and blue ice in between and everything. The tunnel is fantastic. Oh, it's also got a little secret, by the way. That tunnel right there is going to take you like right outside, kind of in the front lawn, I guess you could call it, of the Citadel. There's a little one right here. If I drop down here and go in this portal, that'll take me right into where Decked Out will be. So it's like my own little personal portal that hopefully no one will even know is there. Now, I love the tunnel with the soul flames and the skulls on the, on the wall and everything. Everything is great here, except it's missing one thing. It's missing a little ambiance. And that comes in the form of my favorite new feature, the music discs. We've got ourselves a creepy ice cave here with a deep tunnel leading into who knows what. What sound would go with it? Maybe something like this. <laughs> I, I am not an audio professional, but I cobbled together some stuff and uh, I like it. I like it. We got some wind blown, the little, the little growl there at the beginning and the gusts of wind shooting by. So what I want to do now is trigger it so that when anyone comes down this tunnel, walking or flying, they, uh, they experience the full ambiance. I believe it is done. Here we go. Entering the icy corridor. Yeah! I love it. And then it should work this way, too. There it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It started again. Now, unfortunately, I can't silence the skulk sensors. I wanted to waterlog them, but you know, nether. But it will work either way. So if they come in from the portal here and start going down. 
It kicks in right away there. Now, what it's also supposed to do, and I don't know if it will or not. Let's see. It's supposed to detect... I'll show you guys the redstone in a second. Uh, it's supposed to detect gliding, too. I, I had to check a signal strength from the comparator off the skulk sensor of one or four, which is player steps or an electric. So I'm going to try and fly in now and see if, see if it works. No, let's see, let's, let's, let's start over here. I don't know if it'll work from this short range. Let's try. Don't think flying is working. Not that it really matters anyways, because they're gonna be, they're gonna fly right through so fast that they won't even hear the sounds, but I, I'm not sure why. I thought a signal of strength of four was supposed to detect elytra gliding, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so down below some pretty clunky redstone. I got two comparators coming off the skulk sensor, basically looking for a signal strength of one or four. Either way, if it hits, if it hits either of those, it's gonna hit this comparator and turn the torch off. But if it goes any longer, it will also turn on this repeater, which will not uh, disable the signal. So you can see like here, if I'm doing this, walking is turning off the power like that right 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 there but if i jump hold on you see the 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 skulk sensor triggered and and heard my jump but the power didn't go off so it's it's triggering on the right signal yep and now looking at the redstone i know exactly why gliding isn't working i intended the gliding to be measured here but gliding is still going to go through here signal string four gonna have enough power to go over there and turn off that repeater so that's a problem so you know i think i think all that work, I think I'm just going to kill the idea of gliding anyways, because if they're flying on a lighter, by the time the sound even kicks in, they're not even going to hear it. So this is this is massive overkill now, but whatever, it works. But yeah, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I, I just love, love the new audio stuff here. Is it going to work? There it goes. The growl. So good. And the timing is just right and everything. The distance is pretty okay. I kind of like it. This is fantastic. And back over on the overworld side, there's something I want to show you. Something that has uh, started happening below the base. If you come right down in here, shroop a shroop, and then we have this. The massive dig for decked out has begun. What we've got here is an area that is 150 blocks long, 90 blocks wide. And uh, well, it starts, you know, up there and we're only at 48 right now. And we've got to take it down to Y10. There's about a million blocks, just under a million blocks that I need to dig out of here. And I spent a lot of time thinking about where to do this and everything. And it turns out the space that is really like these four corners right here, corner, corner, and corner, those line up perfectly with my four towers. I figured, why not? It makes sense. We'll get to share the beacon beams that way. And interestingly enough, down here gets interesting too. We have a spider spawner right there. In fact, there's three spider spawners right in that area probably like another eight blocks down we're gonna see three spider spawners and this well, i mean we're in the middle of a lush cave here right so look at this look look at this look at all this i don't have to dig this this is good look at this look at this look at where this goes it goes all the way down so i could oh i'm gonna get myself killed there's a massive cave down under here. i mean not uh, incredibly massive but this is going to be very helpful down here can i get out there we go now a lot of thought was put into how big this area can be and i was actually thinking of making it even bigger which is ridiculous and i'm glad i i've reined it in a little bit uh but it's really got to do with like redstone signal strength and stuff and loaded chunks with a simulation distance of only uh 10 chunks we can only send redstone like you know 160 180 blocks or so depending on chunk alignment so we have 150 blocks there so that we know that wherever our processing systems are, like down here, if something happens all the way down that corner and I need to send a redstone signal all the way over here, we can do it. Now, I want to say I have been putting a tremendous amount of time into the design of Deck That. It is going to be very different from the way it was in Season 7. Now, if there's any of you that don't remember what Decked Out is, it's time to start doing your homework. 
because this project is going to be epic. So there'll be a video or many videos coming up soon where I start releasing all the new design changes, but that's not today because it's just a tremendous amount of content. But I do want to say there was a live stream I did this week where I spent three hours talking about all the design changes coming up in Decked Out. If you want to see that, if you want to listen to that, I highly recommend it if you're kind of passionate and eager to hear all the changes, and there are a lot of them. If you're interested, the video, the VOD is on my second channel, Tango Tech 2, I'll leave a link, maybe a little thing will pop up on the screen now or something, we'll see. And if you want, just listen to that and you got a whole ton of me just blabbering about all the exciting changes that are coming up for Decked Out 2. There's a completely new artifact system, Clank is completely changing, there's an entirely new scoring system, there's a new system called Hazard that is pretty exciting, and the way cards are processed is completely different. So yeah, I'm pretty much everything is changing except the concept. So with that said, I'm going to keep refining things things keep addressing the design and hopefully next episode we'll be ready to really start diving in and feeding all this good stuff to you uh in the meantime i'll be digging this hole out for about a week i think it's time to head over to spawn town now because ren the king has been up to some stuff and we got some quests to do <laughs> best nether tunnel ever so I'm sure many of you have seen it already, but Ren has built this masterpiece here, which I don't even know what it's called. I think it's basically just like a quest hub, unique quest catalog. Yeah, there's like stuff with like a ton. You guys have seen this in other people's videos by now, I'm sure, but there are a ton of quests that we can do to earn back some of the diamonds that we all threw into the pit. Well, others threw in the pit. I didn't draw anything in the pit. So what I want to do is find a quest or maybe some quest that <laughs> I think I could do. Restock one of your shops. That's probably not happening. Buy something from a shop. Also probably not happening. Trade with a hermit. I might be able to do that. I think the thing is these, these have to be done on video so that they can be verified. Throw tribute into the pit. See book. Oh, these are interesting. Right, I'm going to look. <laughs> there's so many interesting. I'm going to look these for a while and see which ones I want to do. Because there's like daily. These are these are dailies here, I think. And then if you go down, if you go down a level, these are weeklies with the little W there. Yeah. And then if you go down even more, I think there's like the legendary unique quests of supreme amazingness. Complete as advancement. I ain't doing that. So I think I figured out the ones I want to do, but there's a little issue here. Little rules, little fine print. You can only have one daily quest per day per hermit, one weekly quest per week, and you can only be doing one unique quest at a time per hermit, which is fine. I think I could take three of these right now, one of each. For my daily quest, I think I will do a royal tribute. I think I can do this one because he's asking for these crazy, like, you know, some of the more rare items in the game. Some of them are really rare, like some of these special deep slate blocks and stuff. But he wants diamond horse armor. Everybody's got diamond horse armor. For my weekly quest, I think I'm going to do this one here. Label 10 portals in the nether network because that's going to go very handily with my unique one which is hold on there's an infrastructure one i think da, 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 this one build a nether network address book i mean i made the nether hub these are things i should be doing and i planned on doing this anyways i'm going to make a, like a whole system to put like a, a labeling like a directory of where everything is in the nether place your head here to accept this quest Danger, this bird breaks my t That's the loudest me every time. sound ever. It's oh, is, so loud. is that the... Oh my god, okay, it's I'm so leaving loud. this area immediately. This is horrifying. So ah, Grian left that for me before he went I on his I figured that uh, was Grian's little departing gift. Yeah. So listen, you... Mm -hmm. uh, yes? I don't know what's going on or what, but... <laughs> You're not Scar. You're not Scar. Of course I am. Yeah, that's exactly what an imposter would say. Because listen, I saw, I saw what's going on below here. Uh huh. Oh, you saw. And here, that, quick. my friend, that, my friend, is not a Scar uh, endeavor. You don't think that I am capable? What? I've known you for this? a while, and in like the 17 seasons, you know what is this? It's uh, um, uh, my organization system. That's right. Mm -hmm. Th this is uh, <laughs> unprecedented. It only took like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. 20 minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm sure. Yeah. Um, Where did she? By the way, that? 
correct. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on with uh? With, why, why, why the green face? Then Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Scar Wazowski. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what is <this>? Mike Wazowski? <laughs> it's my MCC skin, oh. and then Cub permanently stuck this hat my hard hat to my head with the shiny things oh. i look like i'm a five-year-old getting ready for a sleepover yeah. when we're playing construction yeah. man it looks like you know it's kind of like halloween's been over for three weeks and you're really really still attracted to your halloween costume and won't give it up that's what's happening this right now yeah i yeah. even have cookies look, yeah look even have cookies so anyways i come over for an actual business um oh really yes yeah, i need a i need a favor Ooh, I, okay. I need you to remove my head from my body Come on. Come on, all guy. Oh, hey, good. Hey, that's cheating. The, the token. And of course, I probably should have let him sleep. No, I was just <laughs> going to say, you know what would have been smart there is if I actually slept before that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. A few more. I'm doing some quests. I need some heads. <laughs> the feeling of murder upon me. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. All right, that was really embarrassing. I swung like four times. And, and you I missed, missed every time, I know. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. This is a Call of Duty move. Watch. 360 no scope. Boom. Thought I okay, was, was PvPing B dubs there for a second. That was kind of 360 boom. Bam. Okay, oh, one more okay. time. Yeah, that's good. I'm, 360 I'm, bam. I'm trembling. 360 bam. Knees are shaking. 360 bam. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 360 bam. Wheelchair armrest. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, wow. This is good MCC practice. All uh -huh. this dodge uh -huh. weaving. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Serpentine. Uh -huh. Oh wow! This is dodgeball practice. Uh -huh. Just dodgeball practice. Oh man, I'm an embarrassment. Come on, I'm an embarrassment. come on, Hawkeye. I'm an embarrassment. 360 wheelchair me. I'm an embarrassment. <laughs> are, we, are we getting heads up? This? Are you at least picking heads up? <laughs> no. More carnage. I'm getting the critters, Tango. The critters. That might be. That might be enough. I, I just killed you 17 times. That's a whole lot of times. I'll spray my skulls everywhere. Look at that. Okay, I admit it. I admit it. Pearl cleaned this all up. Do you think I was truly capable did, did, of doing no, this myself? No, did Pearl really do this? Oh. Okay. Service. Pearl went yeah. so, so above and beyond. And beyond. Absolutely. She cleaned out and organized my smelter chest. Wow. How much did you pay her? Uh, she hasn't uh, billed me yet. Woo! <laughs> Best bargain ever. Wow. You know what? We might not see her for a while. This took six hours. Oh my gosh, you better pay her well. Is, that, is this a possessed polar bear? What is this I'm looking at here? Oh, it's an angry dog that has B-dubs vibes. You killed an angry dog and got a special head? Well, okay, so there's been this thing lately. Uh -huh. I have, uh, well, I've been killing animals by accident with one punch. I have Hulkbuster paws. <laughs> you do have your whole costume on. Dude, I accidentally killed like a goat just by accidentally hitting it. And I'm like, well, that's weird. And I hit another one, instantly died. It's the what? same thing with the dog. The dog walked in front of me and I and I accidentally bumped it with my hand and dead, dead, just straight up dead. Where's the humane society? You're just like one shotting every animal? It's the Wazowski costume, I'm telling you. It gives you superpowers. Well, I'm looking for my uh my juicy cup and uh my lunchables, and I plan on go. watching um Ninja Turtles. There you go. <laughs> What more could you ask for? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for supplying me with my own cranium. Hey, goodbye. We've got skulls, and uh, for my daily quest, I'm going to throw tribute into the pit. Mm, yoink, a doink. Easiest 32 diamonds I ever made. And for the weekly quest, we're going to do to label 10 portals in the nether network. We're all about the nether, so skadoodle our face up there and let's get busy. Okay, I think this is going to take a while, actually, because I think most of them are labeled already. I'm not quite certain. I know I've got this one over here. Tango's ice farm and give a little bling bling. There we go. One. Yeah, this one isn't exactly in the network yet, and that's my fault, but we'll say Tango's Capra Farm. Unlabeled hole. I think this is... I don't know whose this is. Is this Azuma's, I think? Oh, I'm stuck on the glass. Yep, I think this is Azuma's. I'm not sure. I'm going to get some of these wrong. Azuma's place. There we go. Nice and shiny. That's three. Joe Hill's pinball machine already labeled. Oh, wait, what is this? What are you, red carpet place? Uh, I need to watch more videos. Is this a crazy ultimate lava farm of doom or something? What the what? This is Cub. This Yeah, this has got to be Cub where he made his 80 bazillion rockets. Okay, Cub's rocket production and pumpkin doomsday device. 
Check. And of course, who could forget Skippy the time controlling mutant creeper? Hi, Skippy. Mining desert and mesa already adequately labeled. Hello, mysterious hole at red 27. What is this? Oh, it's a bastion. Hey, look, a bastion. And we've come to the end of the yellow line, yellow 30. Now, I know for a fact that there's something interesting right here. Then we go up, we go up, and then we turn around. Hey! Beepers Game Card Factory. Going down the red line now, we have some, uh, I don't know what this is. Well, do you believe it is none other than Tango's Deep Frost Citadel and decked out. This amazing tunnel, the soup group. Gem Impulse and Pearl is looking so good. I'm so jealous of this one. Hmm, see, this is what irks me. People bust these little tiny holes out just so they can get down to the portal down there. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, see, see all this for this nonsense. Uh. Ah, yes, Toad Turnpike with Donna Todo and Michael Leapigolo. And of course, Leaponardo. All right, frogs, where does this one go to? Huzzah! A subspace bubble by accident. I mean, we got a jungle biome. That That's the thing. Jungle Mesa, I guess. Jungle Mesa sand. It's the Jungle Mesa Desert Ultra Combo. Well, that's nine. And I've got one more. It's kind of a cheaty one, but I think it's something that people need to know about. You simply climb the tree to the nether roof. My arrow's a little derpy there, but it gets the point across. My wonderful king, I have returned. Label 10 portals in the nether network. Uh, done. And I think we get to take one of the shards. Why are there two shards? I'm going to take one. And guys, you know what? Change of plans for the unique quest here. Uh, connect your portal to the nether hub. I do believe we just did that with flying colors. I will put my face right there. I will decrystallize whatever that is and give me some of that. I hope we did this right. I'm sure I'm going to hear about it if I didn't. Choppy, 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 chop. 64, 20 to 84 diamonds. Not bad for a short day's work. Back home with my cozy, heartwarming base. What do you say we do a little buildy buildy here? Get a little snow work going on? Maybe over here? Maybe over there instead? I haven't decided. Who knows? Super fast snow mode? Engage. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, did you know that the number one way to generate comments on a YouTube video is to make a math mistake. Just something to think about. Oh, this is frighteningly slow work. But that took, I think that took like two hours to do this little section right here. It's unbelievable. Uh, all right, here's the deal, guys. This is something I am kind of very new to. So definitely looking for some feedback here that with the terrain thing. I'm trying to mix in some stones. I tried to keep it instead of random. I tried to keep it like patches, you know, like you can see the deep slate blends into the tuft, to the cobble, to the stone. A little, you know, you kind of see the deal there. The uh, If I had to guess, I'd say it's okay, but I think my terrain is a bit unnatural a little bit too perfectly sloped here and i'm kind of and you know one of the things i'm learning now is i probably should have had a little extra mountain come out more out here or something something a little bit more extreme overall I, I i don't know i think it's okay one of the things with the snow is just too snowy right and i need to add in some calcite in there i think that helps a lot i definitely on this side over here you can see, I don't know if you caught it in the time lapse, I added snow caps on all the stones like that, little, you know, a little snow layer. And I think I like that. I think I want to do that on all of them here. I think that adds a little something to it. But yeah, guys, give me some feedback on what you would do differently. I'm, I'm, this is something I'm very much learning here, you know, terrain with stone exposed and everything, the ice flows coming down the, the runways and everything. Eh? Oh, what is this at my Shulk monster appearing before my eyes unbeknownst to me? And caca! <gasps> oh, Scar, what a guy. <laughs> I lost one of my elytra and my axe during the massacre. I get cookies. Well, that'll do it for today, guys. That is all I got time for. It is late and I want to get this video out to you guys. Next episode, I'm hoping 
we can do the official launch of decked out and I can really get into some of the some of the crazy details that I'm super excited to share with you guys. But until next time, I appreciate you guys watching and I'm going to walk my way down the frozen tunnel.